is the devil has put his sign up yeah. and says to us as owners, we own the land. Right. But Satan has put his sign up and told us, hit the road, Jack, yeah. and don't come back no more. Yeah. You know, when we look at all of the things that are happening in our country, New Town, Connecticut, Aurora, uh, uh, Colorado, and Virginia Tech. Say, yeah. When we look at all of these things that has happened to people, and, and how the devil has has apparently allowed himself to to take our youth and sift them as wheat. Yeah. Because you see, uh, during the ancient times, when the enemy would conquer city, the enemy would capture the youth. Because if you can capture the youth, yeah, yeah. then you have just stolen your enemy's future. Right. And see, what the devil wants to do, the devil, the devil is out to steal your future. Yeah, yeah. Look at somebody and say, the devil is out to steal your future. God has given your future and Satan soul. Right. The only thing that you don't see so the devil, if he can steal young people, there will not be in their yeah. future. Yes, sir. If you look at the mentality that many of our young people today, mm -hmm. you will see that we are on a collegial course yeah. Yeah. Yes, with disaster. Yeah. We, we ask ourselves, which way are we going? That our young people, that their priorities, and, and the church cannot get an attitude about this because if we do not provide things to do in the church, they're going to see some things on the outside of the church that they can do. If we don't have any youth programs, if we don't have no recreational programs, if we have nothing that, that, that they can relate to, I don't care how much spirit we shall be able to give them. I don't care how much they sing in the choir. I don't care how many sermons they hear. They're going to have to be able to relate to something that they can feel and touch and something that they feel good about themselves. The church going to have to take a little look as to how we deal with our young folks. Well, no, they ain't happy to be here. This is a heaven message. You're not happy to be here. Our children are not safe in school and, and church anymore. Almost every day on the news you hear about a teacher, a minister, a coach, molesting some child. The LA Diocese, even now, has paid out $600 million for sexual harassment and pedophilia. Our young men are not safe. God warned Israel about shepherds that one day will devour the sheep. Yeah. We are turning on each other. Yeah. We see all kinds of despicable things going on in our world. Yeah. And that the sheep would be scattered yeah. because there is no shepherd. You better thank God if you got a pastor, a shepherd, somebody who works for your soul. You better thank God for them. You better thank God that somebody is looking out for you. My sisters and brothers, even now, even some of the sheep have become meat because there is no real genuineness. People have a misconception of the church. Yeah. They think we're all about just money. All right. Man, I wish you would take that silly attitude. Mm -hmm. The little money we get in church ain't nothing. That's right. It's not even hard enough to pay your life bills. Yeah. Even I don't care what the minister did. We take one person and deify him. Man, just a young man at church, I saw him on television the other night, Terry Cruz, mm -hmm. who came out of our church. Yeah went to the University of Michigan and became a professional football player. Yeah. We got all kinds of professional people just because they can shoot a basketball. Mm -hmm. Who gives them credit to make
a hundred million dollars. Is he worth that? Because he can make baskets. We put priorities on the wrong thing. But God has placed pastors to work for your soul. What can be the greater than your soul? I don't care how much money you have. I don't care what kind of prestige you have. If God has put a pastor to watch for your soul, to bury your son, to marry your daughter, to christen your babies, to pray for your sick, to cast the devil out of your family, to give you the right to let the world talk of that, and we take it as if it's nothing. He's the least respected person. Yes, sir. He's the least exalted person. Yes, people call me right for people to call me Ray. Yes. You embarrasses me. Mm -hmm. I have a life profession in Christ. Yeah. People will minimize who you are. Yes, sir. But I want to tell you in my conclusion mm -hmm. that God is still about people reversing his house. Yeah. Yes, sir. God's house is to be reverent. Yeah. Is any witness out there? Yes, yeah. But now people come to church in any kind of way, yeah. in any kind of disposition, yes, and think it's all right. Yeah. The church ought to be a place where people reverence the church. Yeah. But I can't believe even a drunk or one crush in front of the yeah. church. Yeah. But we got people in church for cussing church. Yeah. Yeah. Cut you out in church. Yeah. And when you get on the outside, they
possess a, a 